cuddle parties. I guess it's all the rage here in New York City. Cuddle party. Yuck. A cuddle and, party, huh? And that's all it is, too, by the way. Cuddle parties. Because you would think, hey, hey, wait a minute. Maybe it starts with some cuddling. Yeah, and, and then what happens? And then it's an all-out orgy. No. It's just a, a bunch of people, a bunch of adults cuddling. But is it, uh, is it like group cuddling or yeah, individual yeah. cuddling? It's yeah. like one of those stupid HBO real sex segments where they all just get yeah. together, touch each other, and go, oh. Uh. Yeah, they set up cuddle parties. You <laughs> Old grandpas. You show up at someone's apartment. <laughs> And you cuddle with strangers. And that it doesn't lead to sex. Silly. Ridiculous, right? Uh, so you're just, like, holding somebody you don't know <laughs> yeah. or give a crap about? If you want to do it now, we can. What Phone number 877-212-018. Right, come here. No, no, no. I, I, oh, I, I, I thought I read the story. My God. Uh, you want to hear about cuddle parties or what? Ooh. This is coming out of Philadelphia. Look inside oh. local cuddle parties. Cuddle party. In today's nonstop rush to get here and there, maneuvering through a crowd of hundreds and in and out of lines of traffic, some people worry that they're losing touch with each other. Yeah. Now there's a way to really reach out and touch somebody else. You could do it at a cuddle party. You know, where are these things happening? Because you only read about them. I read... You never hear about these goddamn things anyway. Have you heard... Has anyone invited you to one? Do you know where one is being held? I read about a cuddle party uh, happening in New York, I believe, either in a magazine or somewhere. I read about cuddle parties here in New York as well. This is an invite? It costs 10 bucks. All right, hold on. Before we get oh, to the invite, sounds a little... we found an invite to a cuddle party. We should have our, our listeners uh, go to this one. Oh, big, fat, smelly people. This is what a cuddle party is all about. <laughs> it may look like a pajama party for grown-ups. Oh, cute. Uh, it's fun, but there are rules. The number one rule, ready, at the cuddle party? Number one rule. Jimmy, what's the number one rule at the cuddle party? Um, <laughs> yeah. Let me think. Wear, no clear stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Wear PJs with the backs that open. <laughs> <laughs> An older gentleman wants to cuddle with you. <laughs> Pajamas stay on the whole time. Yeah, this is a, I bet. And this is what confuses the hell out of me. It says, this is a non-sexual event. How could you have a cuddle party and it's a non-sexual event? Uh, let me tell you something. If you're rubbing up, yeah. if, if you're like cuddling up to some hot 22-year-old NYU student who decides to go to the cuddle, cuddle party, party and she's in her like nice PJs and, and you're lucky enough to cuddle up next to you, you're supposed to like... If you're spooning with her... I don't care if your PJs are on, off, or thick flannel, you are going to start... Pushing your hips. Oh, my God. Are you? <laughs> You're going to start the hip push. <laughs> you think they go, what are you doing? It's called a dry hump party. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Uh, this is non-sexual. Come you, on. This is about, they should call this, are you too un, like, unattractive to be touched for free? Well, if so, <laughs> we'll pretend to love you for $55 at the door. Do you know how many fat, ugly people are showing up for this? Oh, it's going to be disgusting. What hot chick's giving up a Friday to go cuddle, cuddle with older but men? Cuddle with me. <laughs> but how could it be a non-sexual... Oh, bikini thing? bowling. Hey, that's... Where is that happening? On the news. It's it's the news. Look at this. There's a war. Dude, look how hot this is. Stop it. It's really hot. Holy it's Jesus. Concern. It's premiering today. That's right. On Howard TV. Online. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Well, he's got a great idea. I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give it to Howie. <laughs> Bikini bowling. Uh, Howie's doing, uh, you know. Hey, God bless. Yeah, there this is, is some hot girl. That blonde is Ridiculous. really hot. Ridiculous. It's Channel 11 News. It's that dummy. What's his name? Larry. Larry. Yeah. And Larry just uh, bowled a strike. Larry. So I, I, I guess he really it doesn't really give a crap about bikinis. He just focused on the pins and, and threw a strike. That will all be one happy family wow. soon. So. All right. Well. Wow, that blonde is really ridiculous. Yeah, but is she a good bowler? Yeah, can she bowl? Is she going to be over the over the foul line? Bikini bowling. <laughs> God bless Howie right. for that one. All right. Chalk one up for Howie. He got my attention there. Subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> we just turned up the audio in here. Yeah. Howie TV. Oops. All right. Oops. I didn't know where that came from, but it definitely got my attention. <laughs> well, we show videos with Big A. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're talking about cuddle parties with fat men. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> And we do stuff with the homeless. Ah, That's, damn it. We do stuff with the homeless. He's doing stuff with bikini broads. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're smart. Yeah. All right, anyway, this cuddle party, it's not sexual. Okay. Now that, w that we have that out of the way, you may ask yourself, what's a cuddle party? This is a way of, of framing touch in a positive way, way says cuddle party 
facilitator, Edie Weinstein Moser. Edie Weinstein. What a sexy name. Weinstein. <laughs> wow. Weinstein, what's the line across? Like, uh, Dash Moser. Oh, she's got a hyphen. Edie says the parties which are held around the country and in... And in our area, our hyphens are empowering. Are meant to help people <laughs> achieve better intimacy and communication. And it allows people to express themselves in a comfortable and safe environment. They're snuggling, nuzzling, and even spooning. And this is nuzzling. not sexual. When's the next one? Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. We got to go. No, no, we don't. <laughs> big A has to go. Big A. Yeah, Scott. Big A. I We're know. sending Big A to the cuddle party. Come on. Let's do that. Yeah, absolutely. We, we got info <laughs> on the next cuddle party. We'll get out in a second here. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine him nuzzling someone with his hot mothball breath? <laughs> <laughs> oh, with that rule. Look, man, we all, like, when we were growing up, you know, and if you're at a party and and there's like couches and places to sleep, yeah, you're cuddling up to the hottest girl in the room, hoping you're yeah. gonna get some action. It, it, you're not just sitting there cuddling. No. Oh my God, we should all take a Cialis and go to the. Cuddle party. <laughs> 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 uh, hope, hopefully, get up right behind Edie Weinstein. <laughs> Come here, you. I'm going to cuddle with you. Can we please put this information up somewhere? Oh, yes. So, it's, 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 on, it's on Friday. I'm not going to get the date, but Friday. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, to, we'll get that. we got to get to the oh, rest of this. Yeah. And we'll put it up on ONA Radio.com. 2.30 to 6 p.m. Yeah. Well, they don't want it uh, at night when you could possibly be drunk and on drugs and stuff. No. Our listeners could go to that. Uh, Edie says the parties which are held around the country. Okay, so you got the... Uh, it allows people to express themselves in a comfortable and safe environment. Okay, they're snuggling, nuzzling, and even spooning. But not everyone's ready for a group hug right away since you may not know everyone. So to get comfortable, there are a few steps to start with Okay, at the cuddle party. The first step, whether you're with a partner or by yourself, is to sit and chat in a welcome circle. Yeah. A welcome circle. You want to join our welcome circle? <sighs> may I sit in your welcome circle? Is there a cracker in the middle? <laughs> I like a nice welcome circle myself. Guys, guys, do you mind if I join your welcome circle? Oh. <laughs> a welcome circle. Yuck. Uh, sounds awful. Uh, welcome circle. You hear the rules. <laughs> welcome circle. I'm Andrew. <laughs> I'm Andrew. <laughs> uh. Yeah, sit down. Oh, and they're all just like, oh, uh, no, is he going to be cuddling? Who's he, who's he cuddling with? You watch how fast one of them has to get up and go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave the welcome circle for a moment. Uh, we'll, we'll get a picture of Big A on ONARadio.com for the people that don't know who Big A is, and then it'll make this yeah. a lot funnier to have him at a uh, cuddle party. He's going to be alone as the welcome dot. Yeah. It's not even the circle. He's just the welcome spot. No one's going to be around him. <laughs> So first, you ask permission to join the welcome circle. Okay, may I? And then when you join the welcome circle, you hear the rules, which include asking permission and getting a verbal yes before you touch anybody. Uh-oh. And if everyone agrees to all of the rules, the cuddling begins. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Mm. Come on. Uh, and then you got some quotes here. I love experiencing the feelings that come up when you connect with each individual person, said cuddle party goer Linda Hunter. Mm. Uh, day-to-day -day life can get isolating, so it's nice to have something to break out of that pattern. Uh, you know what? Got a lot of guys, obviously, listening to this show. Yeah. Why don't you tell your wife or girlfriend that Friday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 2.30 in the afternoon, you're going to a cuddle party. Yeah, yeah. And tell her it's non-sexual and see what happens. Yeah, you're just going to cuddle. Yeah, okay. And see what she'd, uh, see what would happen if she said she was going. Yeah. And, and, you know, you just stay home. I'm going to a cuddle party. What? Oh, guys are just going to be, like... Fondling you? This is a recipe for sex. This is a fondle party. Of course it is. You don't think you're gonna get a number or something, or you don't think like the the girl might just back up just a little bit, pull a little pant leg aside? I mean, we all talk about the guys and what we're able to do with our with our our hips. I just showed up in my boy shorts. <laughs> right. Did you? Yeah. Oh, they said it was non-sexual, so I figured I could wear this. This is what I wear to bed. Okay. All little, right. Little and, Teddy and boy And she shorts. lays down, and you're spooning with her, and it's not sexual. <laughs> you mind if I uh, cuddle with you? Not at all. <laughs> and then you just lay down and just shaboom, <laughs> shock. You're just like, like a pillar, <laughs> like a granite pillar. <laughs>
<laughs> Come on. Yeah. I bet you hookers show up to this thing. It's a smart place to go. It probably would be because then there's cuddling going on. It's like, hey, you want to do a little more than this? You're up by six. And, yeah. And, and how many people are like doing a little whisper and like, look. Look, I'm here not for the cuddling. What about you? Forget this. Uh, oh, my God. I was thinking the same thing. Forget this cuddle party right. stuff. Where you do you wanna, live? You want to really cuddle? <laughs> I'll, t I'll show you some real cuddling. How about we do some inner cuddling? <laughs> Nude cuddle party. <laughs> right. All right. This is just the start. Dude, we should do our own cuddle party. Here in the studio? That'd be hilarious. People in their PJs show up and just cuddle. And they don't even know each other. That's yeah. that'll be it. The perfect strangers. We'll get them all in here to cuddle. If we did a cuddle party, how many people would show up before work? That's what I gotta ask. You gotta mm. show up with some PJs and just lay around the floor. A bunch of dudes laying around in their uh, pajamas. What what girl is gonna come to a cuddle party? A bunch of dudes and one fat chick. Yeah. <laughs> for Eric Hunter, I have finally completely overcome my social anxiety that that I had for decades. Linda Hunter. Uh... Isn't she there, too? Oh, wait, was she there? Yeah, what are they, brother and sister? Hold That's on. hot. Where, where are we got here? Oh, wow. It looks <laughs> like the, wife? What, looks like the hunters on? are into oh, swinging. Swingers, of course. Uh, cuddle parties last for about three hours. Three hours of cuddling? That is, Please. That is torture. I could see maybe cuddling for a couple minutes going, all right, I got to go. I got to leave. You're going to be throwing those underwear away. If this is not sexual, <laughs> I could maybe last three minutes. Get about it. Cuddle parties last for about three hours. Wow. Looks like rubber cement was uh, spilled. <laughs> oh, and stuffed animals are optional. Aww. Aww. That's adorable. So we can uh, be sure the plushies are going to show up then. <laughs> you know the plushies that like having sex with uh, stuffed animals? Hi, we're the plushies. and we're... we're plushies, and we're here for the cuddle party. Hi, we're the plushies. Can we join your welcome circle? Yeah. Oh, you brought stuffed animals. How cute. Well, we're actually wearing our stuffed animals. Oh, that one's got a hole in it. Why uh, don't well, you sew you that know. up? <laughs> yeah. We figured we'd wear our plushies. Yeah, I see you wearing that. <laughs> How could you hold the plushie in your lap without your hands? It just seems to be staying there. You invite the plushies. The plushies. I like that they're now called just the plushies. Plushies. It's like a gang. Hi, we're the plushies. Can we join your cuddle party? Yeah, come on. Uh, these, uh, these folks enjoy themselves, and they tell me they leave feeling lighter emotionally and physically. Oh, really? You, can help but, you can't help but smile being around this. And who doesn't love a good hug once in a while? Yeah. This Three is, hours with this, strangers. This is creepy. There's something else going on here. There's 12 rules. Some of these rules are wonderful. What well, are the rules? I, I, I love the rules. You started reading them before, but keep those yeah. pajamas down the whole time. All right. Well, actually, the yeah, but uh, what to wear, Jimmy? Pajamas, nothing too risque. So there goes the boy shorts and the lingerie. Think more comfy than sexy. More drawstrings, less lace. No shorts. Uh, what to bring? A pillow or stuffed animal, if you like. <laughs> Juice or sparkling cider is always welcome. This is so this is great. Sorry, no liquor, folks. Otherwise, just bring your smiling self. All right. We're going to have a cuddle party. We're going to have booze. We're going to have uh, Lacey. We're going to have boy shorts. Yeah, We're yeah. going to have teddies. I love uh, this one. Dude, you know we have our, our our channel that's live on Saturday nights? Yeah. We got to just broadcast. Cuddle party. We got to broadcast a cuddle party. Ooh. Put it on the calendar, Danny. The first Opie and Anthony cuddle party going cuddle down. Cuddle party. On Saturday night in the near future. Come get the cuddle caddy. What's that? Uh, or me, I guess that's who I was writing the rules. If uh, there's a concern, problem, or you should feel unsafe <laughs> or need assistance with anything, you got to grab a cuddle caddy. Excuse me, cuddle caddy? Cuddle caddy. Yeah. This guy's trying to <laughs> me in my... <laughs> Could you uh, help me out here, cuddle caddy? Yeah. No, he's t trying to put his <laughs> right in my... <laughs> Could you please help me, cuddle caddy? Uh, Can you use the, ble the, the beep? Uh, yes. Cuddle caddy, this plushie has a raging... And all I want is a hug. I was just looking uh, uh, for a hug, Cuddle Caddy. <laughs> right. School's not important. Winning that Cuddle Caddy tournament. <laughs> now that's important. <laughs> okay, Pookie. <laughs> cuddle Caddy. Cuddle Caddy, can you kick out the plushies? They're creeping everybody out. <laughs> Need the Cuddle Caddy. <laughs> the Cuddle Caddy. Oh. Uh, pillow stuffed animal, if you like juice. Yeah, we did all that. Okay. Uh, yeah, something sure. as legal as a cuddle caddy. Sorry, folks. No liquor. No liquor. Stop. All drunk. I'm thinking Wally World. Sorry. This guy stinks of booze, and he's got a raging <laughs> and uh, he's trying to And he's wearing a rabbit My wife. Suit. And <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, just bring your smiling uh, self. Okay, the yeah. rules. Pajamas stay on the whole time. Uh, you don't have to cuddle anyone at a cuddle party ever. 
You must ask permission and re- receive a verbal yes. We did that, of course. If you're a yes to a request, say yes. If you're a no, say no. If you're a maybe, say no. You're encouraged to change your mind. Respect your relationship boundaries and communicate with your partner. Respect your relationship boundaries, okay? All right. Rule number nine. Like the, That's great. All right. The cuddle caddy <laughs> really love- creeped me out, and the yeah. pajama stand on the whole time not creeping me out. But <laughs> number nine is the I creepiest rule ever. I love number nine. Tears and laughter are both welcome. <laughs> Imagine you're just a creep. <laughs> this is the hug I never got from my mommy. <laughs> you just go to the cuddle party thinking maybe you'll get laid or something. <laughs> right. You know, you're cuddling up. You find a girl, so you start cuddling with her, <laughs> right. and everything's going smooth. And then you feel a hand reach around you and start hugging you, and you turn around to, <laughs> my daddy never hugged me. <laughs> just crying. <laughs> I just come to cuddle. <laughs> Don't mind my tears. They're welcome. <laughs> Did you ever hear of Foundry? You know the song Pendulum? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. How creepy. Exactly. All like meatloaf in Fight Club. Right. <laughs> you're, you're trying to cuddle with the hottest broad in the room, and there's some dude in the corner just crying his eyes out as he's as he's in his adult PJs. <laughs> you know, I never got hugs like this. I'm hugging you. Would you hug me? Yeah. Meanwhile, you're trying to you know make time with some trying to make time with just some broad over here. And you're getting C blocked by some guy by some weeping gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Who would go to a cuddle, cuddle party? I'm thinking. Bang this broad here, Hendry. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, Oh, uh, probably a lot of. Uh, uh, you think a lot of. Uh, uh, yeah, cuddle f- with their poodles. Oh, yeah, cuddle with their poodles. I'm thinking fat broads, and I'm thinking anyone that has some kind of issue with their sexuality. That likes uh, Streisand. Whether it was uh, well, whether yeah. it was they were touched as a kid. There's something going on with their sexuality that you yeah. need to like. Like uh, I don't know. There's, some there's, things have to be sorted out. Tears and laughter are both welcome. Yeah. Respect people's privacy when sharing about. <laughs> you know, wait a minute. <laughs> cuddle parties and do not gossip. The other, the other side of that is pretty good, though. Laughter. <laughs> you just imagine yeah. doing this maniacal laugh <laughs> like De Niro in Cape Fear. Yeah. <laughs> just, just cuddling someone and doing this. That's the real. <laughs> I'm thinking more of that creepy laugh. Uh, that would be cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. That's in your ear. <laughs> That's how everyone reacts when the fat girl walks in. <laughs> All right, I'm going to join the welcome circle. I'm gonna gonna ru- you are a welcome circle. I'm going to run down our laughs. Would this uh, work at a cuddle party? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're getting many cuddles no. with that laugh. I'll... No, laughter's encouraged as are tears, but not like that. No. <laughs> Imagine somebody creeping up behind you. But it was it's like one of those laughs that's going to turn to like uh, tears at any moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm uh, just crying. Uh, we have people. to spoil the cuddle party. We have oh, to ruin absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're getting I want to wreck this thing. Uh, th- this one's creepy, too. Respect people's privacy when sharing about cuddle parties and do not gossip. Gossip? Yeah, about the... Did you hear what happened three people back? Did you see that creep? He's crying as we... As he was cuddling? He's got bad hiney smell. <laughs> <laughs> bad hiney smell. <laughs> Just rubbing it on you. Yeah, what other... In front of your jammy stink. <laughs> yeah, what other like gossip? Like a hard day's work. <laughs> what, a, what other gossip would you have? That's all you could possibly have. <laughs> Ugh. What about the dude at the cuddle party that was wearing the Hannah Montana PJs? Yeah, what's going on there? I don't know, man. That was trying to creepy. cuddle with... A uh, young girl. <laughs> All right, we got to get Big A to go to the cuddle party. Yeah, I want to wreck this. That's thing. why I don't know if we should give out the info. Why? Because I don't want them to be on to us. I want Big A to just like, you know, go to this thing. What do you think? I think if we give it out for the first, <sighs> honestly, maybe four listeners will show up. But if, but if we really work this behind the scenes, we could get Big A or somebody else to go, yeah. and then we can, <laughs> we could, we we could get a. What's up? Oh well, if you if you notice on the sheet, those are actually two different cuddle parties. Oh, okay. okay. so we can give one out and keep the other. For Why are there two cuddle? Pa- I've never heard of these. Can't have enough cuddle parties. Wow. 
We got a lot. Oh, God, the big A picture Iraq just put up is really, well, that's, really creepy. That's him without the eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> Need some love? Have have some love to give? Come join fellow New Yorkers in a cuddle party event. I told you, this is happening in every city. Bring a pillow and your cuddly self in PJs and have some relaxing time with cuddle bugs like yourself. <laughs> cuddle bugs? Ew. Ugh. Wow. What up, cuddle roaches? $55 at the door. What? Where where, where are these held? Like, I just picture out of the street. I th- I would imagine in someone's apartment. Is it like an apartment? Is it a club? I imagine someone is it is- a warehouse where they used to have raves. Could be an incinerator. <laughs> <laughs> cuddle party. You will be kept together in the cuddle party. Cuddle party video just came up on Instagram. No Back. way. Get that up immediately and right. get it up on onaradio.com later this uh, afternoon. And then there's another one, Memorial. Uh, Bring your pillow so you'll have something to hump after the first 10 minutes. That's from Sean, the producer. That's funny. You know what, though? Cuddle bug. Or bring your pillow in case an old lady shows up in a gift form. <laughs> Hello, I'm the angel of death. <laughs> leave her bent nose laying there while everyone else gets up to leave. <laughs> uh, Oh, your pillowcase has this bad makeup version of the Shroud of Turin printed on it. Blue eyeshadow and rouge. They don't realize she's dead until they all leave and they come back. It's like, uh, Edna, Edna. And, uh, she really liked to cuddle. <laughs> she's taking a little nap. Yeah. You know why you so caught up in the cuddling? How about this? You get a little uh, get a little ecstasy and go to a cuddle party? Nah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're thinking? Yeah. Every well, touch no, would no be... No drugs. No drugs. Yeah, they don't know what you, you drop before you... Yeah. Did I just say drop? That's like good. it's the 60s. Like, yeah. Look at Ugh. you. The dropping acid. Ugh. Betty's, idiot. Dexy's, meth. Uh, sure. Well, cuddle parties is all the rage. Let's talk right. about cuddle Let's parties wreck it. for the rest of the show. I want to go. Well, we got to have our own version of one. Yeah, we'll do one here. Put it on Pal Talk and do the whole thing, man. A cuddle party. Okay. We're doing oh, a is that a video? Party. Is there a video of a cuddle party? See what the hell that's about. It's the Reginald Denny video. <laughs> <laughs> He's cuddling up with a planting. A little <laughs> <laughs> cuddling up with, with a fist and a toilet. <laughs> and a toilet. Here, cuddle up with this cinder block dummy. Look at the lovely Philadelphia police officers at the cuddle party with those gentlemen in the street. <laughs> you should have cuddled with your gas pedal, idiot. <laughs> Guy's a moron. <laughs> All right, here's the cuddle party uh, video. We'll get this up on onaradio.com. Uh, ah, it's the anchor woman babbling. Can we get the audio of this, maybe? All right, we're going to have audio from this news piece on on a cuddle party. Oh, cuddle party. Well, look at this thing. What is the... Uh, oh, boy. I Why is Reverend Al Sharpton at the cuddle party? Allow that. That'll ruin everything. <laughs> All right, they're showing a room full of uh, adults, and I don't see one good-looking girl in the bunch. I see, I see guys. Yeah, Where are the course, girls? Of course guys are going to go to this. That looks like he's... Uh, all right, are those girls? <laughs> I can't tell. And it looks like... Where, where is that being held? It's uh, like a gymnasium or something. Yeah, it looks like it's some kind of youth center. Mm-hmm. And there's the lady in charge. Like, At our new youth are in center. I'm sorry you can't come. Oh, my God, look at that guy. He's guilty is that of a guy? Uh, it's a guy? On the left? Yeah. All right, listen. Jesus Christ, I can't tell. What freaks... All right, we're going to get some audio of this after the break. All right? I want to hear about it. 877-212-ONA. It's all about cuddle part. That's that's that that's that Greg Packer dude. He went to a cuddle party. Get him on the phone. Who is that? It's like Ted Levine. No, not that guy. Go back. Greg pa- I I've told you about Greg Packer. He goes to everything. He's like his whole gig in life is right there. Pause. That guy. Phil Packer? He hangs out at F.H. Riley's, too. My brother's joining Huntington Village. No way. New York Avenue. Right there. You've, and he's in the cuddle party story? You know who that is. Is he a pest? He is a professional pest. What he does is he tries to get on TV as much as humanly possible. Oh, okay. So let's say the Yankees are selling playoff tickets. He makes sure he's first in line, so the news crews have to freaking they talk, to him. talk to him. When the iPhone came out, he was first in oh, line. All right, I remember that guy then. This is his the whole iPhone. gig. He's got video of himself eating at, uh, at McDonald's with uh, Clinton back in the day. He's a professional, like try to get on TV guy. And then he's cuddle party now. Now look, he's he got he went to a cuddle party. Jesus, 
I think we got his phone number. We should get him on the uh, on the show. He listens every morning. Greg, if you're listening, give us a call. I want to know about this uh, this cuddle party thing you went to. Mm-hmm. And we'll get the audio from this news piece after the break. <clears throat> if you're Jenna Bush, you're named after a president. You don't want to you don't want to lose your last name. I should name like uh, the cuddle party woman. <laughs> cuddle party lesbian. <laughs> Wait till you hear about Rule Seven. Watch Rule Seven. Watch out for Rule Seven. We're getting all our cuddle party info together, and we'll have more on the cuddle party later on this morning. And not just, uh, by the way, not just Big A, but we got to get like Pat from Monaki to go. Yep. Oh, we got to get a few different. Yeah. Patty. Patty would be oh, yeah. perfect. Hi. Oh, would she not shut up either? Oh, don't touch me there. She'd be so shy with anyone touching her. This could turn into something else. <laughs> Let's get Tippy Top to. Tippy Top. I'm here for the cuddle party. I want Kyle. <laughs> Who's Kyle with me? I want to buy. All right, our dream team. I paid my money, and now I want to cuddle. <laughs> our, our dream team for the cuddle party is Big A. Dream team. Pat from Lunaki. Stark and Patty, you've made the dream team for the cuddle yes. party. And, uh, How about Twitchels? And Twitchels. Oh. <laughs> laying there just twitching and grunting. bring. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Kane, people are saying. Hey, go, buddy. Come on, come on, man. <laughs> Twitchell's breaking rule seven all oh, night constantly long. with men. So you got to laugh, at, <laughs> but you got to know what rule seven is. We'll tell you what rule seven is in a little bit. Awesome. We interrupt the Opie and Anthony show for this uh, <laughs> for this promo. It's the first annual Opie and Anthony Cuddle Party. Hugs. Lace teddies. Leather. Boy shorts. Alcohol. Hot, scantily clad teen girls. Where touching <sighs> is allowed. Stay tuned for more details. See, we're going to do our own cuddle party. That's our a lot, own cuddle party. A lot different than these boar fests that are happening all over the country. Stupid cuddle parties. You, you want to explain it? We got a whole new audience listening right now. I got some audio and everything. But I think... What we're advertising is called an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Under the guise that it's a cuddle oh, party. Okay, it's a cuddle party. That's, I'm sorry. That's the brilliance of us, my friend. Yes. A cuddle party is apparently these parties that they're putting on uh, in, in cities where you pay an admission fee. You go in, in your pajamas and bring a pillow. And uh, you cuddle with people that you don't know. You s- sit there. First, you get into a welcome circle. And you have a little chat, <laughs> and then you have to ask if it's okay to cuddle. <laughs> and if the answer is yes, then you can spoon or hug face to face, or maybe just lay there with your arm over each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, laughter or tears are welcome. Are very acceptable, but <laughs> but you're not allowed to dry hump. That's rule seven, right? Yeah. Rule seven, no dry humping. What about erotic asphyxiation? <laughs> are you allowed to just choke a bitch out? <laughs> Laugh is allowed, tears are preferred. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It just sounds like the worst thing you could ever go to. And uh, we want to send uh, a couple of our, our faithfuls from this show over to a cuddle party. A bunch of guys in their cars right now going, all right, guys, what's the catch? There is no catch. No. That is it. It's a cuddle party. It's, it's non-sexual. Can you imagine? Yeah, you're not allowed. So, yeah, our dream team no is sex. Big A, Pat from Monaki, and Stalker Patty. We got a, a couple cuddle parties happening here in New York in the very near future. We're going to try to get one or all three of them at a cuddle party, and then we'll get uh, we'll get their uh, feedback on How the whole thing. How great would that be? Oh. Hey, uh, here's some audio on the cuddle party. In today's nonstop rush to get here and there, maneuvering through a crowd or in and out of traffic, some people worry they're losing touch with each other. Now there's a way to really reach out and touch someone else at a cuddle party. This may look like a pajama party for grown-ups or something else altogether. But it's not. It's just a cuddle party. Rule number one. PJs stay on the whole time, okay? This is a non-sexual event. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, just what is a cuddle party? This is a way of framing touch in a positive way. Edie Weinstein Moser says the parties, like this one in a Phoenixville living room, are meant to help people achieve better intimacy and communication. Spooning, massaging, snuggling, nuzzling. Ew. You know, I, I just had the greatest image 
We we should like like this is gonna happen, but we should force him to go to a cuddle party, Anthony. What? Because you hate any contact with any Get human. Get out of town! Can you imagine you just we we shouldn't have told you. We should have just made you show up in one of these things. There would and be, all of a sudden these strangers are are attempting to hug you. No and, way in hell! You would you would lose your mind. They'd wonder who's the creep in the spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be in an outbreak suit. Why is Bubble Boy here? <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, cuddling um, but with certain people. I think a certain, you know, attractive uh, uh, girl would be nice. But at the second some dude comes up, I just want to cuddle. Oh, that would be just no touching. Ugh. Do you think Lily would come to our cuddle party? You want to cuddle with Lily? Well, of, of the crew we have on both shows, she's the best option. Yeah, we're gonna have a cuddle party, and what do you rock? Iraq with Iraq. Iraq. Are you allowed to go to the cuddle party? Or you want to cuddle Iraq? You wouldn't be allowed. No guy's allowed to go to a cuddle party. <laughs> Even though it's non-sexual, try to tell your wife or girlfriend you're it's going to a cuddle party. It's non-sexual. Stop it. Don't argue. Here's more audio on the cuddle party. Not everyone's ready for a group hug right away, though, since you may not know everyone. The first step, whether you're with a partner or by yourself, is to sit and chat in a welcome circle. <laughs> you hear the rules. You have to ask permission and get a verbal yes before you touch anybody. Any pink and socking? Everyone agrees, the cuddling begins. <laughs> allows people to um, express themselves and in a comfortable and safe environment. I finally completely overcome my social anxiety, which I've been suffering for, for decades. Cuddle Great parties neurotic. jumps for about out the window. Three hours. <laughs> <laughs> right. that? Bunch of neurotic messes. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding, man. man. I have social anxiety. <laughs> this helped my social anxiety. Did it? I had a good, Toss I had you a, like a bowling ball. <laughs> I had a good nuzzle session with a plushie at yes. a cuddle party. What a bunch of creeps. So many rules. Exactly. I would adhere to. How about some fun ones, like after all the other ones? Whites only and no fat pigs. Whites <laughs> 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 Lay down the cuddle rules. Whites <laughs> only cuddle <laughs> Yeah, just completely racist and uh, horrid. Decades. Cuddle parties last for about three hours. Wow. PJs and three hours. How do you cuddle for three effing hours without effing? This is a. Uh, uh, I don't even know if you can say it on the air. Instead of a cuddle party, this is a uh, uh, a blue ball party. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. It's it's a <laughs> tease party. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. Thank you, Anthony. It's a, it's, yes. Oh, you're leaving in some pain. It's a blank tease party. Yeah. Of course it is. And you stand up and your shoes will fill up. <laughs> I would only, I would almost understand if it's like a half hour or something. Three hours. Three hours of cuddling. You know, well, how, how long does the welcome circle last? Well, it, probably at least an hour and a half. I just start, f***ing, <laughs> just, just crank, right there in the way. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome. <laughs> I thought it poked through the front of the PJs. Oh, oh PJs! <laughs> How that happens? If you leave that stupid, yep. useless fly open yep. on your PJs and it just kind of goes, plop. <laughs> Here it is. You just. <laughs> Hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm here. And you look at all them like, look who made an appearance at the car. Well, welcome him to the welcome circle. Well, ladies, <laughs> speaking of that noise, yeah, Stunt Brain's got some info on that. Don't you have info on the... Uh... Yeah, on Rule 7, if uh, they say that that reaction is natural and we're all expected to have it, but Ooh. you're not expected to dry hump, as they say in Rule 7, and that's a violation. Oh, oh so you can't do that, but it's... It's okay if you get a little aroused as a gentleman. Yeah, people people understand if they if you go to a cuddle party that that may happen and it's okay. And it's okay. Don't turn around and go ew or or something. But I mean, what the hell? You're snuggling with a gardening pole. It's okay, just what do you okay, raise your hand? Your cuddle partner raises your hand if you violated rule seven and you're sent to the cool down room. There's a cool down room. Ew. Ew. You have violated rule seven. <laughs> 
All the wallpaper is le- lemon party. <laughs> that cools you off. That cools you off. It's <laughs> two girls, one two cup. girls, yeah. one cup, and lemon parties right. playing in the room. Actually, oh god, we actually got audio on how they handle the uh, the slide whistle. Let's oh, just call okay. it the slide whistle. Yeah, but first, uh, the rest of this quote. Stuffed animals are optional. These folks enjoyed themselves. They tell me that they leave feeling lighter emotionally, physically. You can't help but smile being around this. And who doesn't love a good hug once in a while? Um, most people. A good hug once in a while. You like to give your girl a good hug. Mm. Maybe like a hug from your parents every once in a while, but from a stranger? No, I don't yeah. want one of those. Stranger, that's that's too weird. It's too personal. I, I don't want that. I kind of like, um, you it, know. There's a, uh, a I like ho- basking in a little afterglow with kind of a, you know. With a nice shot. Kind of a hangout. <laughs> You know, kind of lay your head here. I'll put my arm here, kind of a thing. Here's kind of nice. Here's what we're learning about. Jimmy's the- got that just get out of my room look no. on his face. Yeah, he- a hug is something you do to get there. Once, once <laughs> it's done, like yeah, let's have a hug, and then she feels, and then you touching her ass. To That's get what a there. hug is. I hug. I go right for the ass cheeks. <laughs> I don't care if it's a death or grief. That's violation. I'm sure that's a violation. My grandmother died. Come here, whore. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be a violation. Just your first hug is just grabbing both cheeks <laughs> and, and holding her. Excuse against you. me. And you know how C- cuddle caddy. And you lock I, I, your leg around her so she can't move away. And you know how hot that feels if they're just wearing pajamas. Yeah. Oh like my little God. Flannel-y but Jimmy, pajamas. speaking of that, if sexual energy in the room gets too high, you're assigned a cuddle buddy. Think pool buddies who will grab your hand and raise it at the blow of a whistle. What? Who who blows the whistle? Who what? They have someone that walks around with a whistle and, and a cuddle. Oh, they're called cuddle lifeguards. Oof. And all of a sudden, they see some energy going on that n- might not be and good for a hey. They blow the whistle. And and they raise your hand up? Like, here's the friggin' violator? Here's yeah. The, yeah, here's the, here's the sexual deviant? Uh, that is something. Speaking of the slide whistle thing, which oh, is acceptable, yes. they, they say, look, it's acceptable. This is going to happen. They explain this. They expl- That's the universal sound of the boner. <laughs> <laughs> they explain that in this clip here. And you may be wondering if certain physical reactions happen, especially to some of the guys at a cuddle party. Well, the answer is yes. It's okay to be attracted to someone or be aroused. You're just not allowed to act on that arousal. Safe space, remember? And the cuddlers seem to dig the vibe here. So, any hookups after class? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> it is not at all a sexual space. The space for friendship and connection. Right yeah. The afternoon ends with a puppy pile. Everyone just piles on top of each other and oh. relaxes. Oh. As much as you can relax with several people on top of you. Take another deep breath. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> a puppy pile. Right, right outside of a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I like the puppy pile. Let's make our staff do a puppy pile today. Look, puppy it's, pile. They say it's not sexual, so right. no one should be what, creeped out. What if you just have like junk right near your face, and well, it's not, you know, you're the lucky devil. <laughs> <laughs> a puppy pile. Who makes this up? This is so dumb. And then they all go, ah. Here's something. Uh, Here's something. How about you just live your childhood? Yeah. You know, when you have a chance at a childhood, you should be living that. Not trying to live your childhood when you're 40 flurf. <laughs> a, a, a puppy pile. What is puppy that pile I want to see is outside the chamber at a dog pound. <laughs> the puppy pile. Ugh. Do you want to hear more or are we pretty much uh, Please. I think we might have done it, but let's see what this clip's about. It is called a cuddle party. A place where consenting okay, adults, often book. strangers, dressed in their PJs, pay to actually... Touch each other. Sounds strange? Well, we thought so too. So we sent 11 News Donna Hamilton out to New York to check it out. (laughs) Thank you so much. These are awesome. Look at you. These pajama clad New Yorkers who don't know each other are signing up and paying their 30 bucks for cuddling. (laughs) I thought, okay, that's a little creepy. Sure. Well, you figure people who come, you know, everybody's feeling the same thing. So hopefully you can get beyond the creepiness. Oh, your first cuddle party? This is actually my very first cuddle party. Nervous? Somewhat. Well, it sounds kind of cutesy, but it's, uh, you know, it's uh, something new, something different. I'm obsessed with this concept and, and how ridiculous it the, is. The guy's voices sound very effeminate. Yes. I'll just say that. Every guy that has spoken, very effeminate voice. 
Well, because they're saying it's non-sexual, so I bet you if you go to one of these things, all of a sudden you're like, what, what did I get myself into? Why are men hugging me? I'm yeah. here thinking I could hug a, and cuddle with, like, a, a woman. That's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. all of a sudden you get yourself in a situation like, oh, my God, grown men are <laughs> hugging me and nuzzling <laughs> against my neck with their, you know, with their beards. You know what I'd like to see? Jimmy go to one with an awful gas problem. <laughs> 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 We've been in this studio where it's unbearable. Oh, oh, oh. Just that Jimmy cuddling and stink the entire place. I'll eat some White Castle and some ice cream <laughs> and grapes. Destroy, and that doesn't half and half. Oh, would that be a great... You would ruin the cuddle party. My throat would be all clogged. Damn! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just, someone just feels this heat. You're cuddling. They're cuddling up to you, and they just feel <laughs> just hot air, and then the smell of a waste treatment plant. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> An open septic tank. Oh, yeah, that would be great. That would be. Oh, would that be fantastic? Watching everyone just roll away from you. <laughs> <laughs> You're left alone at the cuddle party. <laughs> oh, oh, it's hilarious. Oh, Reed and Marsha it. say this pajama party is really a workshop <laughs> that touches a basic human need like food or sleep, and that many people in today's modern world are touch deprived. They spend the first hour explaining the rules that the party is what they call a non sexual space, a safe space where boundaries must be set. They get everyone to practice saying no. If somebody says no to you today, it might have nothing to do about you. Huh, sure. There are people who come to cuddle parties to practice saying no. Okay. All right. Oh my Shut God! Shut up! What a cop out that is. You're a pig. Yes. You stink. You're ugly. No one wants to no cuddle one with wants you. To hug That's you. why you get a no. They just come to practice to say no. You can do that at home. No. See, it's easy. <laughs> because they know a lot of people are going to go to these things that never got hugged as a kid. Yeah. And and the rejection. The rejection will be terrible into their adulthood, and it's going to continue at the cuddle party. When, when you're assuming that everyone's just going to hug you because you're not going to ask for a hug. I don't think I could take that kind of rejection. <laughs> so they have to like say that, that people actually go there to practice saying no? What? Stop. How, how, come she said, how come she's not practicing with him? Why is yeah, she yeah. practicing She's no just with practicing me? with me. Because when, when Big A wants to cuddle with you, you're, yeah. just, you're just practicing saying right. no. Right, yeah, yes, sure. Right. Yeah, and the well-endowed girl that decided, even though it's a non-sexual event, decided to wear no bra with her pajamas. They're lining up to hug her. Yeah, yeah. okay. Your hug is my density. <laughs> Practice saying no. Yeah. Okay, there is some mooing. Everyone is a cow for a moment. And then... How tip yourself over onto your side. <laughs> and do that now. <laughs> and the cuddling starts a little nervously. There are back rubs, foot rubs, massages, even a back rub train. <laughs> a train. Give me a break. You can't use a word like train and, and keep it non-sexual. A little daisy chain. Oh, oh, my God. I'm obsessed with this. We got to go. We got it. I, got, I need more we, info. I need visual to, information on to, cuddle parties. We have to infiltrate one of these cuddle parties. Please. Somehow, some way.